Hello, 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 everyone. Great evening. And this is Coach Clean. Um, and today, I'm going to talk about the polymath mental model. So if you notice, kung um, regular po tayo dun sa page ko, I shared yung mga upcoming activities, upcoming event. And I shared also before that I'm a member of the Be Learning Society by Master Coach A. And then in the Be Learning Society, we are learning about the mental models. And as you can see here, dito sa, ano tawag dito, logo, no? Sa logo, uh, there's a mental model collector na nakalagay because I completed, ano na eh, um, three months. And then kung naka three months ka na, na, at naka, natutunan mo yung mga mental models from the master classes ni Master Coach A, she's going to give you a badge. And yan yung badge ko po. And and ayon and then last saturday um we talk about about the polymath mental model and if you are new to the concept of mental model a mental model is an explanation of how something works um it is a concept framework or word view that you carry uh, you carry around in your mind to help you interpret the word and understand the relationship between between things and you also understand yung mga thought processes mo and ano yung mga thought patterns mo so yun po yung mga mental models and mental models are deeply held belief about how the world works so word meaning yung environment outside you and ikaw mismo sa sarili mo ano yung mundo mo and ano yung paano ka mag-isip ano yung mga ano yung ideas in mind mo and why mental models are so important um uh, before, hindi ko po ito ilam, wala po akong idea dito. And then, nung nang nashare po siya ni Master Coach A, dun ko lang na-realize, ah, okay, so mental models pala yung tawag dito. Mental models pala yung tawag so ano, yung understanding ng process, yung pag-process ng thoughts natin, uh, yung mga patterns natin, knowing and understanding how we think. So, yun, mental model pala siya. And bakit po siya important? Kasi, um, by building up a base of the most valuable and universal mental models, you are building up your trunks of knowledge that you can use for the rest of your life. And yung maganda po dito is since I, I learned about the mental models, naitindihan ko na rin yung sarili ko. And before, uh, very emotional po ako and sobrang iyakin ako yun kung, kung kakilala nyo po ako. No? So parang may isang bagay lang, mabilis ako basaktan, mabilis ako maiyak, may mga ganon. And then learning about these mental models, doon ko naitindihan, okay, so ganito pala ako mag-isip, so ganito pala ako mag-react kapag ka, may mga certain situations. Situation, no? And yun po, so mental models are a critical category of knowledge that gets more relevant over time and can be applied across a wide array of different domains. And today or tonight, I'm going to share with you um, yung isa sa mga learnings ko last Saturday. So si Master Coach A nag-share siya ng nine um, polymath advantage kung bakit daw magwi-win yung polymath this 21st century. And out of those nine, syempre, I'm going to share one lang muna tonight or today, no? Uh, na ito yung something na nag-resonate talaga sa akin. And yung, I'm going to share with you yung polymath advantage number five. Ang sabi doon po ay, having a diverse network is the number one predictor of career success. Now, how do you define success? How do you see success? And um, paano ba natin nakikita yung sarili natin? No? Okay, so before I proceed sa pagka- discuss ko about this polymath advantage. Let me share with you ito, yung shinare ko po kanina. Ano po ba itong polymath? And who are polymath? So, based dito, sana po nababasa nyo siya, no? So, you can take a screenshot of this one then para later you can review. So, polymath comes from the Greek uh, polymath. Ayan, di ko mabasa isa. And ang ibig sabihin, having learned much. Okay? So, ikaw po ba yung tao na to na marami kang alam, marami kang natutunan? And describes a person who has expertise in a large number of different subjects, but more importantly, they are able to draw on this knowledge to solve problems. And science fiction author uh, Robert Heinlein believed that everyone should attempt to be a polymath and that specialization was for insects. Okay, so yan yung polymath. So, so ibig sabihin, um, yun nga nung um, una ko po siyang nabasa yung saan nga ni Master Coach A, um, 
jack of all trades, master of none. If you're familiar dun sa statement na yun. Um, ako dati, nung una ko siyang narinig, sabi ko sa sarili ko, teka lang, ayokong matawag na jack of all trades ako. Kasi di ba yung kasunod dun, master of none. And sabi ni society, hindi daw siya maganda. Pero, yun nga, knowing na ito pala yung polymath, hindi pala siya ganun. Kasi kung jack of all trades ka, ibig sabihin, uh, multi-potentials, marami kang knowledge. And yung knowledge natin, it's not about information overload, but knowledge break through yung tawag dito kung nasa context po tayo ng polymath. Okay, so going back, so let me share with you yung polymath advantage number five. Having a diverse network is the number one predictor of career success. And diverse knowledge across disciplines doesn't just come from reading books. Ayan, makikita niya sa background ko. Marami mga books pero ayan, bawas na po yan. No? I believe kasi dati pagka marami kang binasa, marami kang books na nabasa, magaling ka na. No? Pero hindi, hindi siya mag-e-end din sa pagbabasa sa you, you need to take action then and for dito it um hindi lang siya pag read na books tayo natututo but it also comes from the network structure of relationships in your life. Now, ano yung mga relationships that you have in life ngayon? Ano yung mga meron ka? And ba most people in, spend their careers in close networks. Ibig sabihin, eto lang, sila lagi yung kasama at pili lang yung kasama niya. Kasi, uh, uh, ang gusto nila is, uh, yung kasama nila is people who already know each other. And people often uh, stay in the same industry, like same religion or same political party or same knowledge. Like, for example, Example, before, ang gusto ko lang sa kasama is mga ganitong, um, sa ganitong professions, like, uh, yan, as you all know, yan, di ba, I'm an engineer. So, before, naisip ko, dapat mga engineers lang yung kasama ko. Pero, if you're a polymath, hindi po siya ganun nag, nag-work. And, according dun sa isa pong research, or according to the top, uh, yung world's top network scientist, sabi ni Professor Ron Bort, as well as multiple peer-reviewed studies, simply having an open network that spans many groups instead of a close is instead of a close one as the best predictor of career success. So imagine, di ba? Um, yun daw yun. Kaya yung question natin, ano yung mga relationships that you have right now? So while you are listening with me, ayan, habang kasama niyo po ako ngayon, isipin po natin, ano yung mga relationships that we have not right now? Ano yung mga network that we have right now? And the more you spend uh, in a close network, ibig sabihin, so ito lang yung same religion, same political party, same knowledge, same idea. Um, ang tawag nun kasi sa academics ay closure. And the more you repeatedly hear the same ideas, kasi nga, yun yung uh, meron dun sa group na yun, which reaffirmed what you already believe. And on the other hand naman, the more you spend with people outside your field or network, what academics call brokerage, so kung kanina, kung close group yan, closure, and then eto naman, um, brokerage yung isa, pagka dun daw, yun daw yung kasama mo, the more you're exposed to new ideas. So di ba napakaganda niya na uh, pwede mo siya talagang maisip ngayon or pwede mo nang uh, pwede ka na magkaroon ng inventory. Ang tawag natin the inventory no. Um ano yung mga kind ng relationships meron ka? And again, going back, ito yung uh, I'm sharing po, ayan, sa, kung may mga bago pong nag-join, no, I'm sharing yung Polymath Advantage 5, which is having a diverse network is the number one predictor of career uh, success. Okay, so how's your career right now? How are you going to evaluate or how are you going to assess yung career mo ngayon and yung network? So network and then career. Ano yung network mo and how does it affect yung career na meron ka? Okay, so ang ganda di ba? So exciting siya. So ako din siya next part and yun, given itong polymath na to, now I'm going to share with you yung top three reasons why having the right network is essential for your career. Ready na po ba tayo? So, ayan, type natin ready, no? If you're ready to know kung ano yung top three reasons, pero ito po ay akin lang naman so personal ko, and paano po siya nag-resonate sa akin, paano po siya nag-apply dun sa buhay ko. So, ito po um, knowing yung polymath na yan, knowing na narinig ko ito from Master Coach A. So, yon. So, if you are that one person, you keep on saying, I love to spend my time with my mother and father and brother and sister. 
then wow, di ba? You're so sweet. Pero hindi po itong relationship na ito yung pag-uusapan natin. Okay? Ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is yung relationship or yung network that you have right now na nakaka-affect dun sa career natin para makita natin, are we successful or am I successful dun sa career ko? And then, um, ano yung mga nag-contribute? Uh, paano ako naging successful dun sa career ko? Anong, career, anong network yung, yung meron ako? Okay? So, yung sinabi ko pong sentence kanina is just uh, example po po yan ng uh, posidento, ano? Polisi, pol, polisendento. <laughs> okay, that's a figure of speech. Okay, that I also learned from Master Coach A. That, uh, ulit, so polisidento polisindenton. Okay, na, nabubulo. No? Okay, so yun po siya. So, uh, yun yung uh, sinample kong statement. And to, going back sa three uh, reasons, so yung first reason po ay the right relationship or the right network will give you space to exchange ideas. So, imagine, di ba, sabi natin kanina, may dalawa pong uh, group kasi yan, closure and brokerage. Kung closure yan, ibig sabihin, expectation, you have the same ideas, you have the same belief. Kasi nga, yun yung um, group group na kinakabilangan mo at yun din yung nakita mo na something in common sa inyo. But if you're going to have um group na nandun ka po sa brokerage or nasa open network tayo, imagine kung nasa open network ka, you're going to have exchange of ideas kasi may mga bagay na hindi ka alam tapos alam nila. Like for example, for me, di ba, kanina I shared before yung network ko lang ay uh, purely engineering kasi um engineering student ako tapos I'm engineer din. No? Pero hindi po ako nag-stay na puro engineering lang yung focus. Kasi I started to become a volunteer, tapos na nag-volunteer ako, I met people na nasa, nasa different profession. Kaya ayun, minsan, ay, minsan natatawag akong doc, minsan napapagkamalan akong nurse. Kasi akala nila, um, ganun din yung profession ko. Kasi I learned ideas from other people na nasa ganong profession din. So, yun yung isang beauty po nito. Kaya sabi ko, yun yung... Um, um, Nung una po, um, parang nagbit ako ng self ko na parang kung titignan nyo po kasi yung resume ko, parang ano bang direction na to? Parang wala naman siyang, ano, parang parang iba-iba, okay? Parang ang dami niyang ginagawa sa buhay, tapos yung iba hindi connect-connect, no? So, yun pala yung sagot po nito kasi isa po akong polymath, okay? So, yun po yung first, yung again, the right relationship or the right network will give you space to exchange ideas, okay? So, ibig sabihin, marami kayong pag-uusapan. So, yung next reason po, or, ayan, yung next reason that I'm going to share with you, yung re- second reason why having the right network is essential for your career, um, yung point number two is right relationship or right network will open new opportunities for you. Ibig sabihin, di ba, ang dami na pwede mong ma-discover. Like, for example, kanina, may mga new ideas. Ngayon naman, new opportunities. Imagine if you are meeting a lot of people, kung may mga different ideas kayo, different expertise, Ibig sabihin, maraming uh, opportunities yung pwedeng mangyari sa'yo. And uh, opportunities like, for example, meeting the right clients or yung dream job mo or kung ano yung gusto mong gawin sa buhay mo or anong career path yung gusto mong tahakin ngayon. Pwede siya magig stepping stone that could change your life for the better. Okay? Kasi nga nakita mo na may something na better na pwedeng mangyari sa iyo. Okay? So, 'di ba exciting siya? Kaya ayan, 'yun po yung sa brokerage ha. And then yung last point ko, yung uh, third reason natin is develop a lasting uh, long-lasting relationships. And 'di ba, pagka dito na tayo, it will help you to build careers relevant to your vision and your goal. And now Uh, pagka part ka na netong brokerage na to or nasa open network na to na develop natin yung long lasting relationship um, hindi lang siya magstay sa yo since we're talking about career dito papasok yung isa din sa natutunan ko from master coach eh, yung JV na tinatawag or yung joint best uh, joint ventures like for example you can partner na for example collab or partnership ng isang session or anything or in you can earn money or something na mabibuild talaga yung career mo okay so so yun yung ano yun yung top 3 sa akin um yun yung top 3 reasons ko po Uh, why having the right network is essential for your career. Again, yung first natin is right network will give you space to exchange ideas. Second point is right network will open new opportunities for you. And the last one, yung third one natin is uh, right network will help you develop long-lasting relationship. Okay? So, ba diba? So, sobrang exciting niya. And yun po yung sharing ko sa inyo about the polymath. Nasa ano lang po yun, ah, uh, polymath advantage number five pa lang po yun. Meaning, uh, uh, yung number five is 
um, having a diverse network is the number one predictor of career success. So if you are, if you are in the right network, if you are in the right environment, for sure you're going to experience you um career success that you are dreaming of. And then ayan, uh, yun nga po yung assignment niyo siguro ngayon is uh, take an inventory, isipin mo what relationship that you that you have right now, closure po ba yan or brokerage? And are you also like us? Polymath din po ba tayo? Ayan, I'm seeing mga coaches who's joining me today. Uh, si Coach Trisha, Coach Candy, Coach Glacy, Coach Mao. Ayan, hello po sa inyo. And ayan, pare-pareho po kaming polymath na yung pagiging polymath namin. Na-discover din namin siya sa klase ni Master Coach A. And okay, so that ends yung sharing ko po sa inyo. And yung next part na to is I'm, I want to invite you to be one of us, to be one of the mental, models collect, uh, mental model collectors din. So, ito, if you are not yet a smart holder of the B-Learning e-card, ito pong green na makikita nyo po dyan. Ayan, let me invite you to become a mental model collector, katulad po namin, para ma-share ma nyo rin or maintindihan ma ma din natin yung mga thought processes natin, kung paano tayo mag-iisip, kung paano na natin nakikita yung view, yung paano natin na nakikita yung buhay natin, ganun. Okay, hello Coach Joanna! galingan mo later sa talk mo. Okay, so yun. And ito, dito sa e-card po natin, meron tayo, syempre, aside sa pagiging, uh, aside po sa pagiging member ng uh, B-Learning Society, you also have yung 5% food and beverage uh, discount, discount from Decap Coffee Republic. Tapos, di ba, yung minention ko na masterclass, kasama ka na po doon. And yung masterclass na yun, every third Saturday of the month, yun po yung schedule niya. Plus, kung medyo marami tayong tanong from the master class, meron ka pong free 90 minutes na coaching session with uh, senior life coaches from Life Coach Philippines. Diba? So, sobrang exciting po siya. And makikita nyo po dito sa kabila, ito po yung bagong ad na kakalabas lang din ni Master Coach A. I encourage you to join us. Okay, so avail first, diba? Avail itong e-card na ito para maging part na po kayo ng B-Learning Society. And then pagka part na kayo ng B-Learning Society, you can attend itong uh, next na masterclass natin. And ito is yung multiplier na, no? Okay, kanina we learned about different skills sa polymath na yan. Tapos ngayon is the multiplier um skills mental model masterclass. So, ang dami, ang ganda. I encourage you to visit yung Life Coach Philippines and DCAP Coffee Republic Facebook page so you'll know yung mga teaser, yung mga context, yung mga concept na nilagay doon ni Master Coach, eh, kung ano ba itong multiplier skills. And ako, ang pinaka nagustuhan ko dito, um, sabi niya kasi dito matututunan daw yung learn how to learn. Kasi di ba most of the time, ang dami po nating inaaral, pero hindi natin alam na yung mga inaaral pala natin, we are taking wrong information. Diba? So instead na nakakatulong siya sa atin dahil sa wrong information siya, hindi din siya, uh, hindi din tayo nakaka-advance. Okay? So kaya yan, yun po yung Hindi ko pa mat, hindi pa ako makapag-share about uh, dito kasi nga sa next month pa siya matututunan. Pero yun from the post ni Master from uh from mga nakalabas na mga details niya, yun, doon ako excited to learn about learn, uh, how to learn. Okay? So, yun po. Yun po yung sharing ko tonight. And thank you for joining me today. If you have questions, if you need assistance para ma-register po sa Be Learning Society, ayan, nag-invite na sila Coach Candy dito. Okay? So, please share po, Coach Candy, yung link natin on how can they can register. Or later then I'll share din po yun sa inyo. Okay? And if you need assistance, just connect with me or connect with any of the life coaches and mental model collectors na present po dito sa comment section. Ayan, and we are happy na ma-assist po kayo and we are excited to see you sa masterclass. Magkakaklase po tayo. And open to all po ito, hindi po ito exclusive for life coaches lang. Alright, so that's for me today. And ayan, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today. And once again, uh, this is Coach Lynn, founder and creator of Say Yes to the Unknown Coaching Community. Thank you for joining me tonight. Love, bam, boom. Bye-bye.